No tariffs, no barriers. That would, that's the way it should be. President Trump demanded America's top trading partners end all tariffs. We're like the piggy bank that everybody's robbing. It's going to stop. Or we'll stop trading with them. And the president warned America would win any trade war if they tried to retaliate against new tariffs on imported steel and aluminum. We win that war a thousand times out of a thousand. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was not intimidated. Canada is moving ahead with new trade tariffs July 1st. Applying equivalent tariffs to the ones that the Americans have uh, unjustly applied to us. President Trump tweeted that it was that press conference that caused him to instruct U.S. representatives not to endorse a joint statement vowing to work on easing trade barriers. Despite all of the tough talk, President Trump insists he got along with all the other world leaders in the summit. Instead, he blamed trade deficits on his predecessors. I would say the relationship is a 10. And I don't blame them. I blame, as I said, I blame our past leaders for allowing this to happen. Now the president is heading to Singapore, where he will sit down for a face-to-face -face meeting with Kim Jong-un. He said it won't take long to determine if Kim is serious about denuclearization. How long will it take to figure out whether or not they're serious? I said, maybe in the first minute. The summit is scheduled to begin on Tuesday. Lee Jia Jang, CBS News, Quebec City, Canada. During the G7 summit, President Trump repeated his view that Russia should be readmitted to the group despite its annexation of Crimea four years ago.